What's up guys, Snowbird here. It's been a while since I posted a video. So PTS is up right now. Uh, Dead Eye got nerfed a little bit, but the classified six piece is huge. Uh, and SVDs are nerfed also. So currently in the PTS, SVD behaves more like the current M1A. So in this video, I'll guide you on what weapon talents and weapon mods you need to make your marksman rifle more stable and accurate when using the dead eye set. Let's get started. So this is how accurate and stable SVDs are currently. And this is my Socom MMR. As you can see, mid range or long range, I'm still accurate and stable enough to hit my target. For my weapon talents, I'm using Deadly, Capable, and Accurate. Uh, capable is a must for these kinds of weapon because it improves your handling and reduces your recoil while shooting. For the weapon mods, I'm using a small grip that has crit damage, stability, and accuracy. For the muzzle, got the 12.5 stability, accuracy, and crit damage. For the scope, crit damage and accuracy. As for the magazine, I'm using a heavy magazine that has reload speed, crit damage, and 11% rate of fire so that I'll be shooting faster. For the talents, steady hands is a must so that whenever you're in cover, it reduces your recoil by 25% this is a side-by-side -side comparison now for the M1As I got deadly accurate and capable uh, actually you don't need capable because M1 Ace doesn't kick that hard while shooting but you must have accurate because M1 Ace lack accuracy. For the weapon mods it's just the same as my Socom MMR but for my underbarrel I used 16 and a half accuracy with stability and crit damage. You'll see here that I'm missing some shots because M1 Ace have large reticle bloom. It's still good within mid range, but shooting beyond 30 meters, you won't hit your target anymore. I could add more accuracy mods, but it reduces my damage too much. So, in conclusion, if I have to pick between these three weapons, I would choose the SOCOM. MK20 MMR because it has higher base damage, more ammo capacity, and higher rate of fire. If you couldn't get a Scar H variant weapon, then try to craft an SVD. And my last pick would be the M1 Ace. It's still worth using, but in the end, it's all up to you guys. And that is it. I hope you liked the video. Shout out to the Ghost Clan and peace, leave a like and subscribe. GG guys.